I hitchhiked here all the way from California. This is my 11th time crossing the United States. My friend got me a wonderful gift years ago, which was a white, like a, like a dry erase board. So if I wanted to take a new route, I, I could change it or just like write funny shit and try and get a laugh out of people. Um, I have a backpack that I loaded up with all my gear and a lawn gnome, which is an unnecessary 10 pounds, but my friend gave it to me and we named him Gnome Chomsky. <laughs> and uh, currently he's sleeping over there in my bed. I've had more rides on this trip than I think I ever have crossing the U.S. Everyone from truck drivers to a girl who was running her large old Ford off of vegetable oil that we were pumping out of the backs of fast food restaurants. And when the city we were in didn't have any, we used our food stamps and we bought vegetable oil. And, and, and they were like, what do you need 12 gallons of vegetable oil for? And we were like, we're making a cake. <laughs> a big one. <laughs> I, 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 I slept b below the largest cross I've, I've ever seen in my life in front of a mega church on the Indiana-Ohio border. And I, I left on my whiteboard a, a sign that said, what would Jesus do? Probably let me sleep or offer me a ride east. <laughs> and instead, I was informed that Jesus would call security. <laughs> I've, been, I've been camping out on Wall Street in lovely Zuccotti Park since day one of the occupation. I'd known for about two, two and a half months. Uh, I'm like a, if you, if you can call it a, a professional, all I do is I, I organize or event organizing, uh, fundraising. I work for political campaigns. I'm just an activist in general. Since I was like 17, I did it all through college. Basically, two hours after Adbusters posted a call to action, I started organizing for this. Oh, on the Brooklyn Bridge, we, we, we were having a good time. Uh, I, I called the family. I, I, I told them to turn on the fucking news because no one in like the history of power struggles or movements or anything like that in this country has ever done what we did that day. Walk out on the Brooklyn Bridge en masse, and we got cattled in, and I was, I was a medic, so I began instantly distributing medicinal cigarettes because... <laughs> Upon being arrested in New York City, you're, you're not, you're not going to get another cigarette uh, you pretty much at all. So I, I was towards the front, so, so we got arrested. I spent seven plus hours in handcuffs. Six of it were on a fucking bus, which sucked. I, I've been arrested a whole lot, always for good things, like where, where it's like, hey, mom, I got arrested. What for? Oh, nothing serious. And she's like, okay, sweetie, all right, let me know when you're out. The, 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 the cops in the precinct didn't even know what the hell was going on. They were dicks, though. Well, well, well we didn't get any food or water the, the entire time. One of the cops who was manning our cells said that, that New York City, they have this, um, this deal. They, they, they provide the meals to prisoners through McDonald's, you know, cheap dollar menu shit. And, and we, were gonna, we were told we were going to get McDonald's. So we were all demanding McFlurries. And... Uh, <laughs> They, 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 they never brought us anything, which was quite disappointing. So we started chanting like, no McFlurries, no peace. No McFlurries, no peace. They still didn't give in. I wonder why.